I'm going to do a question out of the October 2014 exam paper. It's question number three, option number three. The question is, given the following information, C equals 400 plus 0 0.6 Y and I equals 500. Calculate by showing all your formulas and calculations. First, the multiplier for two marks and then the equilibrium level of income for two marks. So the first question is, what, what they ask us is to calculate the multiplier. Now, with the given information that we can see here, we have C equals 400 plus 0 0.6 Y. And if you know how the consumption function look, you'll see there's a similarity there. The consumption function is C, total consumption, equals autonomous consumption, the amount that's not dependent on your level of income, plus small c, marginal propensity to consume, times y. Times y. And you'll see these two have the same format. So we know this 400 is equal to your autonomous consumption plus your marginal propensity to consume times y. So we know this is small c. Okay. And then investment spending is totally autonomous. There's no induced part. Now you'll see there's in this information given to you, there's no government and there's no foreign sector. This is important when we want to calculate the multiplier. So the multiplier, we sh say for short, is alpha, small letter, the Greek letter A, alpha. The formula that we use is 1 over 1 minus C. Now, you might have seen a T and an M in this formula somewhere before, but it's not applicable here because T refers to the government and M refers to the foreign sector. So it's not in this formula. The only thing we're interested in is 1 over 1 minus C. But we know C is 0 0.6 because we knew what the consumption function was. So it's 1 over 1 minus 0 comma 6. You should be really careful here because most students forget about this 1 on top. So read, um, write neatly so you can see what you're doing every step. Remember to write the 1 over 1 minus 0, 0,6 is 0, 0,4. Now, if you don't want to do this off your head, you can use your calculator. Just type in 1 divided by 0, 0.4, and you'll get an answer of 2,5. So for the first question, your answer is 0, 2, sorry, 2,5, and you'll get a mark for correctly showing the formula and the answer. So the next part of the question asks you to calculate the equilibrium level of income. To do that, we first need to calculate the autonomous spending, which in this case is only autonomous consumption plus total investment, because there are no induced parts to investment. It's everything in investment is autonomous. Now, you might have seen this before, that there's a G and an X in there and a Z in there as well. But again, we don't have a government in this question. We have no foreign sector. So that's why it's only autonomous spending is equal to the autonomous consumption plus investment. Because I knew my consumption function, I know autonomous consumption is equal to 400. And I know investment is equal to 500. So my autonomous spending is equal to 900. Almost done. The last step is to calculate the equilibrium level of income. And that's very easy now. The only thing you have to do is times your multiplier with autonomous spending. My multiplier is 2.5. And autonomous spending is 900. This gives me, if you use your calculator, you'll see this gives you an answer of 2,250. And that's your final answer. For this part of the question, 
you'll get a mark for showing autonomous spending and having the correct answer here. There's another way to calculate this problem and it's essentially actually the same way but instead, instead of having two steps you do it all with one step. So I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm going to do this in green. This one says that equilibrium level of income equals 1 over 1 minus C. Oops. This is actually the equation of the multiplier. So technically we are only writing the multiplier out. Times autonomous spending in this case is C plus I. So you'll see that's exactly the same as we did it previously, but previously we first calculated the multiplier, then autonomous spending, and then multiplied with each other. In this case, we substitute those formulas into the first um, formula and just skip two steps. But I would recommend the previous method if you're unsure of how to do it, because this one might get messy. Substitute in C, substitute in I, divide by, simplify below the uh, di division, and you'll see the answer is the same because it's basically the same steps just put into one formula. Thank you.